Hello everyone, welcome to one of our creative tutorials and today we have a new expressions tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create animated title in After Effects using expressions. So create your composition and let's get started. So as you create your composition, create a text layer and just type anything you want. So for example, here I have animated cartoon title and Julie font apply to it. You can basically apply any font style you want. So now we're going to double click on these text and then right click here and add text selector expression. And basically we can do it from here as well. So wherever you want. And here we have animator one created so we're going to delete this range selector one and just leave here this expression selector one and here we have amount 100 percent and if it would change this value nothing happened and here we have these uh, expression apply by default so we're going to remove it and then we're going to add property and we're going to add scale here so scale is going to basically change the scale of the text so we're going to put right here zero and now if we change the amount here you would see that we are basically changing or affecting the scale so basically it's like remapping the scale values and here we have based on characters or characters excluding spaces or words so here we're affecting the words so you can't see uh what's happening so leave that at characters for now and so we're going to add expression on this amount so hold alt and click on stopwatch to open here this field so we're going to remove this and then create a variable so delay equal 0.05 semicolon and then we're going to create another delay which is going to be text delay equal here we're going to use the delay value here the delay variable and multiply this by text index so the text index is expression here which is going to give us the index of each character here for this word so and then semicolon and we're going to create here t variable equal time minus this text delay we created so text delay semicolon so basically nothing happened you can't see anything so barely here the the animation happened for this as you see so let's say we're going to maybe multiply this by let's say multiply 50 so now you see something happen right here let's preview this so as you see we, there's animation here and maybe you notice that the size of each character here decreasing over time. So this delay is changing the value or the size of each character here. So we're going to make this more advanced. So now we're going to, let's remove this. And here we're going to add F statement to add our condition. So open parentheses and then use T greater than or equal zero then close parentheses and up in curly bracket so he, this is our condition and we're going to add our code here that is going to output the value for us and we're going to use math expressions we saw in the previous tutorials so make sure to watch these previous tutorials here these ones uh, to know what I'm going to do here in this if statements so this is related to this uh, tutorial so here we're going to create a new delay here equal this time maybe four uh, semicolon and then we're going to create amplitude equal 100 semicolon and then frequency so all these are variables so maybe here we're going to put three semicolon and here we're going to create the output we want so s or 
maybe scale for scale that we want and here we're going to use amplitude and multiply this with math period cos up in parentheses and I'm going to use t instead of time we used before because this is our new time this t variable and multiply this by math period pi multiply that by frequency variable and we can multiply this by maybe two or three and close parentheses and multiply this by math exponential to create a delay so all these expression we saw in the previous tutorial so I'm not going to explain it again and so we're going to multiply that by t again and then semicolon so basically we're going to get here let's close these uh, curly bracket and something here is going to happen going to get this nice animation here so maybe you want this just to pay attention for the uh, title you just want something like this but we want something different here so what we're going to do if we want to start from uh, zero value to 100 percent so we're going to add else up in curly bracket then value and then I'm going to close that and then we are going to change the amount value to 100 so it's going to remap the scale value to zero and we're going to get something like this as you see very nice and very cool and here we can uh, basically change the amplitude and all delay and stuff so maybe put there six and going to get something like this and maybe we want for example uh, on every second we want a character to show up so how are we going to do that so here in this delay we're going to put one so every one second a letter will pop up there second two the second one and so on okay so the delay here, the first one, is related to the text index. So let's put this back to 0 0.05. And so we can basically make this more interesting. We're going to create here nice uh, mask here on this. I'm going to create this mask here and on path or more options or path here is just mask one and let's inverse that and put it right there okay so now we have it on our path and then what we're going to do is add going to do is uh going to select this and we're going to add another uh, selector here and this time is going to be weekly and here it's going to create animator 2 so we're going to delete this range and on weekly selector here you would see basically something happen because it's and this wiggle to the text and they are going to keep wiggling so we're going to put their wiggle uh, per second to zero and then we're going to add property so maybe scale and going to add rotation and here we're going to change this and maybe scale and maybe another property here so going to add skew here and so we're going to get something very cartoonish so let's preview this maybe this uh that is right here and now we're going to animate the weekly selector on the animator to animate the maximum and minimum amount so keyframe that and maybe right here we want that second animator to stop right there and we're going to easy ease that so just 
going to get something like this. So as you see, this is very cool. And of course, you can just keep adding more animators. And also you can add slider controls and link it with variables. So quickly you can change the values and create a different looks. So this was the tutorial of today and hope it was very useful for you guys. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive and stay tuned for more cartoonish title tutorials coming soon and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.